This video is going to show you how to tell exactly what different effects processes are doing to your tracks. So this is my track Thrice Cream. I'm just going to take this part. Let me take the side chain off for now. I'm going to do Command T to create an audio track. And let me see. It's group 12. I'm going to get audio from group 12. OK, so you can see the audio is coming from there. I'm just going to record this little snippet of it. I have this. I'm going to do Command D to duplicate it. So now I have two of the exact same copies. So I'm going to grab Ableton's utility plugin and put it on just one of the audio tracks. I'm going to phase left and right, which just flips the polarity of the left and the right channel. So now, if I solo both of these tracks, you will hear nothing but there's audio signal coming from it. Let me just take this plugin off. Yeah, really loud. When two audio signals are playing at the same time of equal volume, then if you change if you flip the polarity of one of the tracks, it equally cancels them out. So there is utter silence. So now, if I add an effect like let's say um yeah, let's say an EQ you will hear only the difference between the two tracks. That is it. So if I raise this a little bit, that is only the difference. So you can know exactly what this EQ is doing to your sound. Now it doesn't have to be just with EQs. Let's use a compressor. Let's See, right now it's not adding anything to the sound because there's nothing being compressed. But as I bring it down, this is what the compressor is adding to the original sound. If you have Ableton Live 9, you'll notice on the new EQ, this little headphone button, that's exactly what this is doing. It's basically showing you the difference from the original to the now newly affected signal. Now with your new knowledge of polarity inversion, you can test out and learn more about what the effects you're using are doing. If you like this video, you can help me out by suggesting new topics for tutorials. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks and I hope this helped.